Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm quite excited because I found these and I have no idea what they are. Apologies if these are all over the place and they're known by everyone. I am utter novice when it comes to this stuff but I've never seen this before. I went in a hobby craft for something entirely different and obviously wandered up and down the aisles and, and grabbed stuff that I shouldn't and I found this. It was like a whole display of it really it, it looked like makeup it just looked like makeup and obviously it's most supposed to look like makeup and it's called makeup y stuff but it is whatever it is so we have this is all the jane davenport collection uh it, it's about making faces obviously you do whatever you want with it but this is um a drama stick Mm, I don't know, smudging pencil crayons and sharpener. Ooh, um, it comes in these colours. I'll open it up in a second. A second. This was twenty-two pounds. This one is the colour sticks. There you go. You know as much as I do now. Um, there we go. This was what was this? Eleven pounds something, and these were about seven pound each. They're the oh the ultimate pen. There you go. In golden age so it's very pretty not into makeup myself but I get the point and then you have the ultimate pen in suede so I'm gonna open them up I broke it so we get a nice tin you got this to color in I suppose it's quite shiny paper so I'm not sure about that but um, we'll see. So these are the drama sticks. Warm Heart, I guess that's the colour variation I bought. Ooh, they do look like, I don't know, lip pencils or something, don't they? So, all right, we shall have a go at them. And then we have these, the colour sticks, Silky Skin. Ooh, some of the names are interesting i'll go through that we've also got another card very cardy and again shiny so we shall see then we have the suede pen it yeah it's a brush pen little ditty brush pen and then the golden age pen Ooh. Oh, it's definitely goldy. I did, I did actually maybe test this uh, one of the open ones in the shop, and it it won't come off. It just won't come off. So I won't try that on my hand, like I was just going to. Let's go through these names quick because they're they're an interesting choice. Um, we have Moon Kiss. That's lovely rice paper. Wink, isn't that sweet? Magnetic field, okay. Highbrow, pucker up. French kiss, pout. Eccentric, deep vein, grey matter, and flutter. Um, deep vein, interesting choice. Uh, grey matter means your brains, doesn't it? Um, Unless there's something that I'm missing, that's, that's an interesting choice. But anyway, let's put that over there. I have my sketchbook. I'm going to have a go at this, but it's a bit shiny. I don't know. And we shall see. So the first thing, this is annoying. I couldn't get them out, so that, that can just go away. I've put them in here. So these are interesting. Meant to be. Can you see that? I can't see if it's picking it up, but it's called Meant to Be. We'll see. Oh, well, they're definitely crayon y. This one is Fire Inside. Next one is called Hands to Yourself. Absolutely. Feel it still. Um, okay. Hot hands. There you go. Rebel for kicks. 
Well, that just happened, so that's that's just great. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use this, just just to use it up. You know, you you don't want waste. Waste not want not, as they say. That's 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 gross. But let's just let's just put that in there. Let's just put that in there, and we'll put that away. It definitely did rebel. Next, we have the amazing suede fine liner. Apparently, we'll see. Oh, oh, oh! Actually, it gave a weird appearance of of suede. I was assuming it was just the colour, but it's interesting. It's, it dries quite flat, but as you put it down, interesting. Next, we have the shiny, shiny gold. Look at it shine. There we go. Golden age. A very fine little little point on it. That's a very delicate gold, very shiny. Can you see that? Let's have a look. I don't I don't think you can. Let's get my lamp over. Ooh. It is that's I think that's one of the shiniest metallic y shiny pen thing I think I've come across. That's interesting. Makes me wish I'd bought a couple of the others now. It was again seven eight pounds, which is quite a lot. I'm worried about putting it in here because it feels like there's something in there. Look, it's like springy. I'm worried about hooking up the um the pen end, but very nice. Right next, we have these with their interesting names. Let's go from flutter onwards, shall we? I keep opening the wrong the, the wrong way. I'm assuming that's a lid, but it's not. It's the actual thing. So that's annoying after a while. They're very smooth, very silky. I'll give them that. They're going down nicely. I don't quite sh know what I'm going to do with them. So at this stage, I lost a bit of recording, but here's the swatches for you, just so you have a look. And um, yeah, that that's all I managed to record. It went a bit weird, but never mind. Anyway, I decided to use this card that came, uh, the larger one that came with it. You can just see to the right the other one I've had a bit of experiment on, and they went down really nicely onto it. Um, I tried to use them, at first I was using them a bit like markers, but it wasn't going to work quite in that way, but I'm not, I'm not good enough, shall we say, to get it looking like the uh, picture on the tin to your left. So I just decided to make it very, I don't know, illustrative, use the colours in different ways and just sort of go with the flow really. Um, I really did enjoy these. I must admit, I use mainly these ones. These were, for me, easier to use than the the sticks. The sticks I found, they were, I don't know, I didn't quite know how to use them. I think you just put a, a glob of colour down and use your finger and smudge it about a bit, which I, I do end up doing with these as well. But they weren't as as preferred as enjoyed as as these ones which is a good thing because these were cheaper um as you say see the ends they're not they're certainly not a fine point so you can't get any detail with these but you can get a lot of difference i think with the with shading and color and light so yeah this this was good i, I end up using my finger at some stage just to to eke them all together that's a technical term, eek, absolutely. Um, but I think they lo they worked really well. The only problem I'm finding with them is, especially now, this is, I'm recording this a, f a few days later, I don't quite know what to do with it. I think I need a bit of tracing paper, paper to put over the top of it if I'm going to put it anywhere. Um, here I am having a go with the sticks for the lips. You do definitely get some very nice bright colours, um, but they do they break really easily and they're not as easy to use and they, they weren't for me. I'm sure somebody else with a bit more skill can use them better, but nah, 
I, I pretty much put them away and go back to these colour sticks, definitely. But anyway, as I was saying, um, the storing of these is problematic. A bit, a bit of tracing paper in between, I think, would work quite well. But they're, they're kind of, they're not sticky or anything, but you can still smudge them. It's not like they set. You could get a spray and, and set them that way. I've, I've just paused. I'm, I, oh, I know what's going on. I was being asked the question and I stopped, but I answered it and now I'm moving on. See, that's what you do in life. Anyway, yeah, you, you could spray it and set it or you could use a bit of tracing paper, but definitely there's, there's the odd scratch that appears in it just by it existing near my desk. So that's something to think about with these. They don't obviously dry and set. So you have to do it for them. But anyway, here I am. I'm just, I'm scribbling on different types of colour. And I believe that's the rice paper colour, the lightest one that I'm using to, uh, as a blender really, just to blend them all together. And that worked really well. So what I ended up doing with the hair and with the background, you can see to the right there, which I'll fill out in a bit. I just whacked the colour on, use a bit of my finger for some of it but that really light colour as a blending stick and that worked that worked well um put a bit of red in there just to give the the hair a bit more something and then here you go I am literally scribbling it on I don't normally do this I, I'm normally think I have to be so careful with art and just there's me protecting my desk yes that that was that was needed um but just to sort of put colour on and go for it. I really, I did enjoy doing this and I'm quite pleased with the end result, which is unusual for me, I must say. But no, I, I enjoyed this. I think it was an effective use of colour and I, th I think the end result turned out, yeah, okay. This is one that I won't necessarily hide in the, in the back of a drawer somewhere. I might actually show somebody this. So there you go. This is pretty much, I use the gold for an earring, which I'll, sh I'll show you a bit later how it sort of shone, but that was effective. And just this suede one for, for around the eyes, which again, a little bit of shine. So that worked quite well. So there you go. That's what I made out of these Jane Davenport art supplies. I still don't quite know what I'm doing. I enjoyed these. I did enjoy these ones a lot. These ones that came in this tin, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with them. They just seem to be a sort of harder, crumblier version of these. So I had a go. I think I did the lips with them, but uh, I'm not sure about them, which is a shame because they were way more expensive, but I did get a nice tin. So there you go. Um, on this one, I didn't finish this one. I was just kind of practicing the, if you can see, the gold is way more showy than on this, unfortunately. So we have a lamp a bit closer to it. Yeah, when it's like this, you can just about see it, but then the light catches it. See, she's got a necklace as well. I like that effect a lot. I think at some stage my cat has walked over here and scratched it, but ignore that, ignore that. So with this one, again, it's pretty darn shiny. Actually, now I do that. But I don't know. It's still a good effect. It's mixing with these, but still. Ooh, shiny. There you go. This I really do like. I use this on her bodice top and it gives a really interesting effect. If you don't want that effect, then it's pretty rubbish. But if you do like that effect, sort of suede -y is the best way I can put it. So I like this. I didn't really use it too much on this other than on her eyes, just to give them a bit more definition. But there you go. I enjoyed these. I'm a not as messy as I thought I would be. I ended up having to use a bit of paper to stop it going quite all over my desk, but never mind. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it. Please remember to give it a like and a subscribe and comment down below. Have you had a go at these? What did I do wrong? Let me know kindly and gently so I can do even better because I do actually quite like these. They're pretty much waxy crayons.
to be honest. But yes, there you go, I tried something new. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye.